What's going on guys, hit pause here with the answer to the question, yes I'm stupid. Uh, I want to thank Yan Kaluza for pointing this out, I, I did not clamp the alpha. I completely forgot that pixel depth does not clamp itself, in fact these values are going drastically over one in a lot of cases. Um, like if, you know, if the depth is 40,000 and I'm dividing it by 1,000, you know, we're far from one there, right? So I'm only at 40. So yes, I, I completely forgot to clamp it. Um, so that is the answer to that question. Um, alphas over a value of one will start to push in the opposite direction and become the the underlying things will actually become uh, negative or drop out completely. So that was actually the problem. And so given that, uh, and again, thanks to Yan that that uh, and he saw it immediately and I just yeah it, I don't know how long it would have taken me to figure it out uh, just to remember that kind of thing sometimes you overlook the things that you just get so used to and and it can can sometimes be a problem so I did have the question on how can you blend between three different textures and as you can see quite clearly here we are doing that okay we got blue up close green in the middle and red in the distance and obviously this can be basically whatever you want for any material so really all we do is we just need to um, lerp uh, one time more that's all so we do our distance blend right and let's just go through it one more time so we get pixel depth right which is the distance from a pixel is from the camera and we divide that by how far we want that to be so we get ourselves a cutoff now I did give myself a contrast and you can see over here this is my I have a floating window over here um, for the actual uh, instance here that I've pushed that contrast up really really far so if I were to push these back you can see that we're probably if if you're having issues where I'd say hey you know I can still see my medium material um, you know at, at too close I would try to uh, throw a power uh, after the fact okay and then clamp it all try to make your whenever you're dealing with an alpha try to make it a habit and I'm gonna do this from now on I hopefully never forget this um, I, in fact going through the entire process of making that video should ensure that I never forget this hopefully uh, sometimes you need to do that kind of thing but um you know clamp it before the alpha but all I'm doing is just storing a power here and then I can just you know determine hey you know I want this to be a little bit more of a sharper cutoff and then you know blue right and then I can see the green I can see the red and we've got you know a distance blend so it's essentially the contrast will just you know you can pull that in so if I just start dragging this up we should start seeing well I guess I gotta let it go before it before it happens but anything you know like around um, I think like about 256 or so will actually give you a, a relatively sharp line I was using 640 just to ensure that it was sharp but I think if I went even farther that it would become a truly sharp line so however sharp you wanted that to be you can control that here so in this case you know I would I would maybe go 8 or 16 or something and again you know we we still have the ability to subtract a height map from the whole thing before we go forward and that would you know cut it in and out of the um, uh, of the details of whatever texture were under there so hopefully this is enough to get you guys going um, now the ordering here is uh, like so okay so we have we're lerping now blue is my closest green is my medium and red is my far so let me uh, just write that in so that it is a little more obvious for you that's medium I always hit enter and that is close god damn it okay so we do medium over close and then far over that blend okay so remember B is always on top okay so uh, I think if we do a lerp uh, it doesn't actually say but it is always B over A um, it will be there we go no it just defaults doesn't really tell you that but it is it is B over A so if, if the alpha is 0 you get A and if it's 1 you get B okay so just think of it as 0 and 1 it is written right here 0 and 1 okay like so and then yeah, that's it that's that's really all there is to it and you know at this point you know whatever I put here would be where you would do your world line texture with the different sizes and all that so there's the results and hopefully that's enough and if not let me know and this is a pause sign off